Here's how to go from you are not the cheapest to I wanna work with you. I'm gonna give you a very easy to understand example. And my hope is that you're able to connect the dots between the underlying psychology and your business. So to set this up, imagine you're a homeowner and you have ceiling lights that are halogen. There's 20 of them in your ceiling. And you wanna replace those with LED lights because they burn less hot and they last longer. So you go on Angie's list and you fill out a form and someone comes over to your house. We'll call this person Mike. Mike counts all 20 lights and he says, it's gonna be $2,000. You say, thanks Mike. Then James comes over. James counts all the lights and he says, it's gonna be $3,000. And you look at James and you say, James, you are not the cheapest. You are 50% more than the other guy that I just had over here. What James does not do is try to justify his price. He doesn't try to preach to you as to why you should go with him. Why? Because when you do that, people know you have a vested interest. Of course you're gonna think people should go with you. You want a sale. What James does is he asks a question with finesse that creates a knowledge gap in your head. Here's what that sounds like. So Josh, oftentimes people that are in the $2,000 range are not licensed electricians, which means if you have an electrical fire or God forbid your house burns down, your insurance company will not reimburse you because they're not licensed. Is the other bid from a licensed electrician? And then James is gonna shut the front door. And when you do this, your prospect scratches their head and thinks, hmm, I'm not sure. The superpower is asking a question that shines a light on the terrible, no good, very bad thing that might happen if your prospects goes with your competitor or sticks with the status quo. It's not your job to fill your prospects head with information, your job is to draw it out of them. The best way to persuade is to let other people persuade themselves.